But I, I literally don't need your help making this video. I never needed your help. It never gave I needed help. It never gave struggle. I mean, it's been giving a struggle, but the struggle has been you. I know you love how I whip it. You could only stay mad for a minute. So come here and give me some kisses. You know I'm very delicious. You know I'm very impatient. Might change my mind. So I'm starting with threading my bobbin. So you're just gonna wrap this around the one and the two. There are clear instructions depending on your machine. It's really not that difficult, but if you guys need a more detailed video, please just let me know. So I'm putting the thread through that top hole of the bobbin, and then I'm gonna place it on the machine, and I'm gonna switch it from position one to position two. So you're gonna see me push, um, I'm raising this up so that it's not in the way, then I'm pushing this over so that my foot knows that I'm threading the bobbin. So you're just gonna press the foot, is that what it's called, a presser, a foot, whatever that little thing is on the ground. You're gonna press that, and I just cut that extra thread off so it doesn't get wrapped up in my thread. And as soon as you have done it to where it can no more, your machine is gonna stop. You're gonna cut that thread off, and you're gonna take your bobbin out and then we're gonna drop the, the bobbin into the machine. So here I have taken the top off of the bottom, off of the bobbin cover, the bobbin cover or whatever, and I put my bobbin in. You always want your string facing up. Each machine will give you exact directions with how to work your bobbin, but this is how you do it on my machine. Now I'm about to thread the actual machine. So you're gonna go one, down two, up three, and around the hook, down, up through to catch your, your string, and then through your needle. So with my needle, I have long nails, so I put it through with some tweezers. So I'm about to take my tweezers and put it through. There is a threader, but it takes longer than just putting it through with tweezers. So this is how I do it. So now we're going to pull our um, turner or whatever forward and it's going to basically interloop the thread from the machine and the thread from the bobbin and then you're going to see that string that's hanging out is going to start being sucked back and it's going to come through the machine which makes us a stitch. Don't ask me the technical terms because I do not know. So basically, you gonna have two strings coming out instead of one. If you twist it forward, forward one time, I used to cut, I used to flip it backwards, and I messed one of my machines up. So make sure you don't flip it backwards. Um, just make sure you always do it forward. It typically does work the first time. You might not be able to tell. Sometimes you just gotta go in and pull it. So that's what I do. Um, and now I got my two strings, and I'm just gonna cut them and then toss. It's back to back. So right here, I'm going ahead and testing my stitch. Sometimes the thread isn't actually through. Sometimes there are tension problems. So I'm about to practice on a piece of paper at different sizes. So you can see on the side, it says 2-2. Two, two. I'm about to change it to 2-5. Two, and then I'm going to change it again to 3-3. Three, three. And this is me just trying to find what size stitch I may need and learning my machine because I'm still a beginner. Okay. So this is a 2-2, two -two, this is a 2-3, this is a 3-3. Three -three. I think we're gonna go 3-3. Three -three. We're gonna go 3-3 three -three on 3. So I'm watching two movies, moves, y'all. So basically what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take my bundles and I'm gonna cut the tag off and I'm gonna cut the rubber bands off. And then I'm just gonna be doubling my track. So I'm gonna fold it in half and what's well, already half, which is why I like to do this. I was gonna color it first, but I really love to do this while it's fresh. So um, I'm just gonna take this and sew it together so that it's this thickness and not the thinness of one and so that I can fit more bundles in my wig. So um, I do not enjoy 
taking these bundles apart because the longer hair, the more the mess. But the better hair you got, the easier it is to take apart. So you just want to comb your hands through as you are rolling. Um, so yeah, I'm just unrolling, unraveling still. It does take a little minute to get it unraveled. And it should be pretty even the way that they rolled it. But um, I always start at the end that's open because if it is uneven and you gotta cut these ends, then you left with two short ends versus if you have to cut this part, you'll at least have the opening of a small track. So it'll be more space, if that makes sense to y'all. So this end gonna be just a little bit crooked, which is okay. Um, I like to try to keep my tracks together. So I just put a little clip in there. <sighs> Calm the hair out if you need to. I'm gonna set my speed. I can change the speed on my machine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set it to just halfway. So I'm not going too fast, but I'm not going too slow. Um, if you notice, one side is a little bit longer than the other. I'm okay with that because the ends are very curled. So I'm just gonna move this under here, drop down my um, foot, the sewing foot, and start to sew. And I'm just gonna reiterate that all of this is together and not gappy, kind of, sort of gently pulling. So I've got the hair all lined up. I'm gonna go ahead and put my sewing foot down and begin to sew, moving all the hairs out the way, making sure that the thread is moved backwards. And I'm gonna start to sew. So as I'm sewing, um, I can kind of see that this isn't sewing that smoothly. It kind of almost looks like it's jumping a little bit. So I go and I check the back of the track and I realized that I have a tension issue. So if you can see those loops and everything, that means that I'm having tension issues. So I ended up changing the pattern, the width and the length. So I know that before I started sewing it, it said 322, but I actually had it at a 333. So I tried out a new setting and I tested it out and you can now see that everything is laying flat. So I'm gonna change my settings to that and I'm gonna come and speak to you real quick and let you know what those settings were. <laughs> uh, anyway, thanks for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and... So the settings that actually worked for me, three is the tension, four is the, the sewing pattern. The length of the stitch is two inches and in the, or two centimeters or whatever the fuck or millimeters and the um, width of it, the width of it is three. So that is the perfect length. I'm gonna show y'all the difference between what I was, the settings I had before with the tension off and I also changed the spool of thread to the big spool because there was not enough tension, or there was not enough tension on the small bobbin. So back to um, sewing. So I started to sew again and everything is very smooth. And as I approach the end of the track, you just wanna make sure that you get to the end and then you hit that little U button and reverse the stitch, which will lock in your stitch, creating like a tie almost to say. So then I'm gonna lift my needle up. So that's that button that, it, that has a needle on it. I'm lifting it up and I'm pulling up the, pulling up the footer and cutting my thread and then I'm checking out the thread. You can tell the difference. So this stitch looks super clean, super clean. Here is what it looked like before. You can see that it's knotting, which means I'm having tension issues or some type of issues if you're seeing something like that. As I said, you can see that it is knotted, even though on the flip side, it looks just fine. Even on the flip side, it looks just fine. On this side, it was knotted because I was having tension issues versus down here. When I did switch um, the tension, I have both sides where it looks nice and seamless. You can see that it's good right here and then it starts bad right here. So I'm gonna take my seam ripper from right here. I can literally see 
the knot that is started the that. And I'm just gonna rip all of this out. So um, I'm gonna take my time and split these tracks up without cutting the hair. And this gonna take me a little bit, although it'll start peeling in a second. It'll start easily coming out, but I'm gonna do this off camera. I just wanted to show y'all a couple times me just ripping the thread because you definitely wanna have one of these for when you make mistakes. Okay, so I removed, I split the seams on all of the track all the way up to here, which was more than halfway, it was about halfway. So for about halfway, I fucked up and I didn't pay attention to it. I did pay attention to it, but I don't know why I didn't stop. I, I think I was just, like I said, I've been feeling defeated. But I went back because you wanna fix your mistakes early on so they don't become a big issue. So I split the seam all the way back to where it is done neatly and I'm about to go back and sew the rest of this the correct way and then I'll brush all the thread out the hair because you will find that like pieces of thread is stuck in the hair which it will cause breaker breakage um so yeah I'm about to go ahead and sew the rest of this and I will be back when all of my tracks are sewed up since I showed you guys how to sew and then I will I'll probably show you my last bundle because I got five bundles so I will be back in a So, perfect, three minutes. Okay, so here is the five bundles. Um, all double wefted. Um, and I'm just brushing them out. Be mindful that there's some pieces of thread in here and all of that stuff. It's a lot of hair. I always just imagine, cause with your bundles just wrapped up in a ponytail, like if your ponytail was to be this thick on the back of your head, is your is your hair thick or is it thin? So I feel like this is a decent amount and even falling off the back of my head. So this is what it's gonna look like on the back of my head. This do look like the back of a wig. So I think this is thick enough for me. I could have used probably one more bundle um, cause I do have a bigger head, but this is what five bundles does look like. And don't forget I got a frontal. So I'm gonna have to be fitting all of that in there. And it is just so soft and so pretty. All of my wefts have been double wefted so that it'll make for easier sewing. I totally forgot to leave one bundle single. So if I do need a single stitch, which I might be okay, I might get away with the double, then I'll just do the same thing and unclip it. I totally forgot to leave one single wefted for the top of my head. Totally forgot until right now. When you don't use it, you lose it. But yeah. There we are. Now, let's put the cap on. So, uh, where's the You know what? 16. So, my head is 15. Mm -hmm. uh, one inch. That's it. My head is 15, exactly. With that inch. Extra. So. My friends will can go exact. This is my ear. This is my, um, this is right behind my ear, which is where six inches is right here, which is gonna be making that go like that. So just a little bit. So I'm gonna get the hot comb and hot comb this so that it stays in the proper place out of my way.
And then I'm gonna get the hot comb in. Cause I have to have this in a ponytail in order to do this perfectly. So just pin it, hot comb it, and then find the center. Cause you're gonna be trying to find the center for so long until you get this in a ponytail. Okay, so I finally got it looking to how I want it going across um, with this in the center, which is my middle or close enough to it, okay? Um, basically, it's a little bit crooked, but not very much. Let me tilt it down so y'all can see exactly. Um, but I got it going across and across, and I just want to point out some stuff to y'all. So basically, I made a mark for in front of my ear, and I made a mark behind my ear. So I wanted to make sure that my frontal is done in the front of my ear and not going back to the back of my ear. Because if it's going to the back of my ear, it don't mean nothing, but I just got a big head. So I want my tracks behind my ear and my frontal in front of my ear that's just how i but if you had a small head you could do it either way and cut your ear out i like for a little bit to go back and the rest of my stuff if that makes sense i don't know if that makes sense y'all but this again is the back of my ear One thing you always want to make sure when you're doing this is that you never dig your needle through back here because then you pulling it back. You want to make sure you all the way up there on the lace and honestly as close as you can get to right before under it and pull that lace. You want to go through that cap, pull right at the end of that lace. Not at the end end, but towards the middle end, but not too far up. So it's flat. You just want to pull. Now I'm going under. Just pushing it through. And you want to make sure it's not too far back through the mesh. Because if it's too far back, you you gathering your lace. Okay, now Leo think I'm playing a game with him, y'all. Sorry. Oh, get your ass up. Oh, get your ass down. Oh, my God. Sorry, y'all. Get off of me. God damn it. Y'all can see. So say. 
say I'm back here and then I try to, that's that's bad. You want to make sure you all the way up here and then you in about the middle back of that lace, the middle back, and that's still too far back in that, in that mesh. This what helps me get it flat. And then you just pull it through. All right. think I'm fucking playing a game with him. He pissing me off. All right, I'm trying to explain this to y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. He really fucking is like attacking my string. But this, if it's showing a loop, like it's gonna be uneven, you wanna take your tweezers and pull it. And you wanna make sure all your strings is even. And pull that through. Leo, I'm finna beat your ass. Leo, get, get, get your, get. Nigga. Oh my god, this nigga is really pissing me off. Sit your ass down somewhere. Perfect, but Sit down. Do your best. Remember when we started work a year ago and where we are now. about three times so that that thread does not come loose because I'm not going to be able to pull the thread through anymore and it's going to tangle so I'm just giving this a couple knots to ensure that it won't break just a reminder that these wigs for me last a lifetime um, so I do make sure I'm very detailed and making sure they are as tight as possible okay so now because he put a knot in my thread. I don't know if y'all can see the knot, but the knot is, the knot is, the knot is right there. So I'm going to have to cut the thread and start over. And for the first one, you just put it through to lock it in. Oh shit. One minute, one minute. This is my first big performance. Back the fuck up. It's crazy right now. Like, I don't want people to be able to look back and be like, this looking? That's the way I've been talking about the female though. 
I don't want it to like be a total mess. I've only been practicing with six dancers for three days. I am very, very in my head when it comes to these steps. I can't even remember what I just ate this morning. <laughs> So the final thing, you just gonna rotate it. So on the final one, you just gonna rotate it around three times um, the needle just to lock it and secure it and make a, a knot. And then you're going to pull. And just because I am extra, extra secure, I'm going to also make a, another, I'm also gonna make another knot. And the thread left on that needle, I'm going to use on my other side. Cause again, uh, we had a little bit to do over here. So I'm just doing this and tying it um, just to make sure it's extra secure. And I don't know if y'all can see There's some ugly looking thread on here, but that's okay. It's gonna be behind my, a little behind my ear. All right, so now I'm gonna cut that and do the other side and I will come back Okay, it is 3 a.m. So let's do these guidelines. So I'm just about a half inch is every inch. Since it was starting uneven. So I'm gonna go to the half and I'm just using um I'm just using a pencil from uh and my pencil for makeup. I, I literally don't need your help making this video. I never needed your help. It never gave I needed help. It never gave struggle. I mean, it's been giving struggle, but the struggle has been you. So that is my guideline for my wig. One, two, three, four, five, six. Which these six should be double. These should be single, but I'm gonna end up still doubling them because I already doubled the tracks unless I don't. But this is my guideline. And it looks pretty damn decent, child. It ain't perfect, but it ain't terrible. And I got my ruler in there. I wonder if y'all can. Let me see. Just look me real quick so y'all can see. It's just on every half because I started. It started at the half. So, yeah. Choo. So, now we about to sew. Okie dokie. Everything is in perfect place. 
All my lines are perfectly stretched out. My frontal is perfectly right where it needs to be. Um, and when I cut this out, it'll be more flat. Our head is perfect. If it was too small right now, then it would be too small. Okay, so first I take my wig. Yeah, I'm so sorry that my table is a mess, but this is how I work. I have to have sort of a mess. Um, so I just place my cap under there. I'm gonna grab a bundle out of the bag. They're all the same length, so it doesn't matter which one I do first. It's literally all 30s across the board. Um, you don't wanna just make sure you brush your bundle out a little bit. So I'm just gonna take it and brush it. Okay. And now that I got that all done, I am just going to make sure I flip it to the side um, where it would be. Damn, how do I usually do this? I want to say where it would be flat. So, so I would do it on the one side and not the two side. I feel like I would do it on the two side because it's less thread, but I'm going to do it on the one side because... In my mind, that just make more sense. So, you always want to make sure you cut any of the excess thread off because that's going to be hanging in your head. And you don't want it to look like you got virgin hair. Because we ain't, well, I mean, you might be a virgin. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, y'all. Um, I'm going to cut this little ugly end off because it just don't go with my presence. Oops. These are so and so good, so they don't cut the best, but they cut great at the same time. Okay. So you just go, make sure y'all can see this. But. So you're just going to line up your track exactly with the blue. No need to stretch it. You'll place that right under the sewing machine. Push that down. We're gonna take this stitch and we're gonna up it. I wanna say up it a bit more, but honestly, mm, we might just make the stitch wider. Let's try that. Oh, maybe we go, maybe we go three, four and see how it works. I feel like my machine works best on two, three, but let's see how this works. Okay, I'll put our pen down and start my um, TV show. I get there. Wait a bit. Then text you guys. Oh, cool, cool. Then what? So, where the wrinkles at, I kind of just like gently pull like i don't pull it but i just gently make sure it's straight as i'm um sewing it on there because i am going to stretch the cap i got a big ass head So this is how the stitching looks on my cap. I'm so sorry that it's blurry in this clip, but you can kind of see it's all nice and even. So now I'm about to cut off the excess strings from my wig. You don't want those pieces hanging. And then I'm also going to test out the, the stretch of the cap, make sure it's stretching, everything's all good. And then I'm gonna cut off the excess hair from my wefts. 
testing it again making sure everything is stretchy and pulling and then i'm going to continue this process and continue to sew tracks on to these guidelines if you don't know how to sew that would be the first step um, to learn i did teach myself and it has been an easy process to me So I went ahead and sewed a couple of tracks and this is how far I've gotten. So I'm just checking my weft, making sure everything is secure, everything is even, everything is laying flat. Looking at my stitching in the inside, just making sure everything is on track, everything is still stretching, the outside perimeter of your cap should still stretch. I should have, I should have tripled the track. I can tell already. That I got too much space. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna add a track right here and a track right here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it low. So this is where we are. I got one more full line, which I'm gonna make into two. I made the last one into three. And then I'm gonna go and probably single or double it. I don't know yet because I really want it to be as full as possible. So I am gonna stuff these tracks. Halfway point, I always wanna check and make sure that everything is flat, that everything is going good, that everything is looking good. Um, it feels really tight. So I'm gonna make sure it's not to pull anymore because it's really tight. Um, it, even though I'm gonna be cutting this band so it'll loosen it some. What the fuck is wrong with you? But yeah, so here, here, and then as you can see, like my braid is almost out, which means it's like really tight. Um, it's gonna fit my head almost like a glueless unit. Like I could like literally, this is like perfectly shaped for my head. Um, and you can see all that we have left. Everything is feeling flat as fuck. So I'm gonna keep on doubling the tracks. Um, and yeah. It's like seven o'clock in the fucking morning. Okay, so this is the final. Maybe we can't even get a part right now. Ain't no part right now. Okay, it ain't no fucking part right now. Like, when I feel terrible, it has to be bleached the fuck up. Um, this is with only like, I think, barely four bundles like i know i didn't get all for it i definitely didn't get to five i tried my best to stuff but it just wasn't working so this is probably like three and uh maybe a half so uh yeah i'm about to go ahead and start to color this I'm gonna take some before pictures, some before videos for TikTok, 
and yeah, I will see y'all when I get back. Um, so yeah, I just want to show what the frontal looks like before bleaching, before plucking. It's not looking great, okay? It's definitely giving weight, but I'm so excited about all this weight, about the thickness. I really wish I could fit all those bundles in, um, but it's still getting full. It's still getting volume, but it hasn't been washed yet, so hopefully it'll be even fluffier. I feel like my hair, this hair is fluffier when it's um, washed and dry, but my camera is dying, so I'm gonna change the battery and I will be back with red hair. Yay! <laughs> Everybody shut the fuck up. My hair is done.